All right, this is video we're gonna show you how to punch down a jack, just a normal jack. This could be a Keystone jack. This is a System Max uh, MGS 400 jack, um, but basically the premise is going to be the exact same for all jacks for network wire. Uh, this is going to be a Cat6 cable that we're gonna be punching down. Um, also, I will keep in mind, er, I will emphasize that if it's Cat6, Cat5, you know, whatever it is, it's all gonna be punched down basically the exact same way. Um, all the wires are exactly the same. It's just the thickness and the shielding that is inside um, the outside casing and then the inside casing. That's the only difference is, that's the only difference. Um, so today we're gonna be using a, a normal system X jack that we'll have. We're gonna be punching down on the B side. Usually for most patch panels and most jacks, most everywhere that we've seen uh, is gonna be punched down on the B side. So you can see there's an A side up top and then the B side down on the, on the bottom. So that bottom row is uh, the punch out scheme that we will be using. Uh, you can see on the other side, it's kind of set up the same exact way, but this side, everything's the same. On this side, the orange and greens are flip-flopped. So we're gonna be using the B side on this. Uh, so for all the tools that you'll need, you'll need your jacks, and then the cap that'll go on top of it, kind of lock it down in place. You need a little your wire. I mean, I'm just using, you know, a piece of wire here that I just cut off. Um, you can use some side cutters. Um, that's what I usually do now, just so I don't have to carry around uh, a whole bunch of tools. Or you could use cutters like this, some strippers. Um, this is what I used to use back, what I used to use back in the day, is cutters like this, or, you could use a cable cutter like this. I mean, this is for a coax cable, but you could still make this work. You just have to adjust the, the blade up in here uh, so it doesn't cut down as far. Um, last thing you'll need would be a punch down tool. This is a Fluke um, D814 is what I have. I think the D900 series actually has a little um, piece of metal in here that will stick out and you can actually pull out the wire from this jack a little bit easier. So that is what we will need. So clear this off here and we will start. So the first thing you'll want to do is grab your wire. I always like having a good chunk, probably about two inches or so, um, that I'm going to be stripping off of here. So I'll just take my side cutters. I'll do this twice so you can kind of see. So I'll use the, the biggest gap here. I'll just stick that in my wire, hold it a little bit of pressure and kind of turn it a little bit and that scores the wire. And then you can just kind of pop it and get it to come off like that. So that's one way of doing it with just, if you just have side cutters. The other way of doing it is just having a normal uh, stripper, just putting your wire in there and then just giving a couple turns like such, that'll score it and then it just breaks off really easy. So with this, you gotta make sure you got your, your depth set correctly, because if you don't, you can actually score the wire um, right here, and then you'll have some issues later on. So just something to keep in mind. Once you have that, you'll take your wires, you'll split them like this, down this little casing here. So this little plastic sleeve is just the divider. So I just take this and I just rip this out. Some wire, there might be an individual one on each one of these little uh, pairs here. There'll be like a little piece of uh, plastic that'll be spun in inside here. Just unspin it and take that out. Um, and then that way you just have the wires left. Once you have these kind of separated like this, take your jack, take that off. This one has uh, two little holes that we're going to push our wire, our blue, and our orange. Our blue and our orange are gonna go through these little bottom holes, push them all the way through so they sit up here closer to the orange part of the jack. So we'll take that, shove those down. We'll push them through the, those two holes right there, push them up. That's if you're using one of these jacks, these uh, uh, system X jacks. Not all of them are gonna be set up like this. Some of them will just have a gap here and you'll just put the whole wire down. So I take my back fingers, kind of lock it in and push it forward. And then I grab it with my uh, index finger and my thumb to hold it solid. Once I have this 
uh, back sheathing here up close, as close as I can up here against the back part of the jack. I got it, and then I can just untwist this with my fingers here. And just get it so this wire will lay in there nice and easy. Drop it down, drop your orange one down. You can see our scheme, it's gonna be orange-white first and then orange here at the base. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the blue here. Untwist that, the white one, just gonna fall right in there. First sleeve, and then the second. So then at this point, once you got those set in there, I like taking my index finger and my uh, thumb and then just hold that so that's ready. So they're kind of pushed down there. Once they're pushed down, then I'll come back and do the back wires. Undo those, drop those into place. The last way of doing this is you could, if you didn't want to untie these or unscrew them all the way, you can put your thumb back here, like right behind um, this little like uh, piece of plastic here. Just kind of pinch it like that, and then grab the wire with your thumb and then just kind of untwist it. And that'll kind of untwist the wire. And then you can just kind of drop it in there like that. So see how it's kind of twisted still? But yet this piece is untwisted. Then you don't got wires falling out everywhere when you go to punch this down. But that's how your jack should look like before you get it punched down. All the wires are just kind of seated in place, but not actually pushed down quite yet. And then what I like to do is take these over and, over and under and twist them together so your wires are not flying all over the place. Do that on both sides. And that's how mine looks. And then once you get that done, put it down on the ground on a solid surface. If you're doing this, that's up next next by a wall. This is one thing I did forget. If you're doing this by a wall and you punch this down, you're gonna leave marks because this backside will actually punch into the wall. So if you are doing it on a wall, I would recommend one of these little hockey puck things. You can put your jack in there like such, hold it down and that makes it a flat surface so you're not damaging anything. And take your punch down tool, you're gonna have a cut side and then you're gonna have a non-cut side. So your cut side actually is gonna have the blade on it. So this yellow side's a cut side, that's gonna be the blade side that's actually gonna cut the wire off. So you want that to be on the outside of your wire. So yellow is going on the outside of your wire. You're gonna push that down. And then once you got it seated in there, you're gonna push it down, you're gonna hear it pop. Like that. And you go on to your next one. And then this should be fairly loose and kind of wiggle it around there. And it should just pop off. You can do it once for each click or one click for each one of them. But I've usually just gotten to a habit of doing two of them, two shots on each, uh, each wire. get that set this should come off really easily pop that off so your wire should be seated down all the way at the bottom so I always check and make sure that your wire is all the way down to the bottom down there like that everything looks good and then the last thing you need to do is put your cap on and you are ready to go